Good morning, Yarna Bees. Oh, sorry, I have to have my camera like this. Otherwise, it just all falls down and stuff. So, <clears throat> and I'll just sit over this way a little bit so that you guys can see me. So, you guys are asking me what happened. <laughs> I, I put up a video and then I took it down real fast because... Um, I think I was just venting and <clears throat> I just kind of went bleh and I was telling you guys a whole bunch of stuff that was going on that I probably shouldn't have put out there but <clears throat> um oh crap but um I I'm I'm gonna kind of give you guys a synopsis of what's going on. <clears throat> um, so, I had a bit of a disagreement with uh, the people that run the place where my store is at. And we got into it a little bit. So, I... Um, sought legal advice and I sent a letter off to them. I basically, I, I wanted to get out of my contract because I'm not making any money there. It's make, it's getting really hard to be able to pay the rent there because there's just no traffic. Um, so it's been been touchy. It's been really touchy. I've been pretty stressed out uh, over the last month and um, anyways a bunch of crap happened and uh, we finally came to an agreement where I stay until the end of January just pay for fixing the shop, um, pay for the wall that I took down, and then I'm out. I'm done. Um, and I can just move on. I'm really disappointed. I really thought that being in there was going to be a good thing for me. I was told all the right things, but that didn't pan out. Um, I started getting resentful. Um, I was getting angry, and I was going broke. So, Christmas is coming, and I was going, holy cow. I'm not going to be able to get stock in my store for Christmas because um, all I'm doing is every penny I'm getting is going to pay the rent. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, it was ridiculous. Uh, I, I mean, I think doing the expansion was probably a dumb idea, to be honest not one of my smarter moves. But having said that, I was listening to the community. I was listening to the people that were there. Um, I was listening to all of their advice. And it, you gotta understand, like they all went through COVID and had their shops um, during COVID and Rumors were flying around about that too, but anyway, <clears throat> you know, I started hearing things from people in the community and it wasn't good things. So I thought, you know what, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go, but there was a bit of a fight. 
So, <clears throat> but we came to an agreement, and so I'm going to stick to that agreement and just get through Christmas and uh, see how where it goes, see how it goes, and just pray to God that I can pay my rent. So, yeah. So I've had quite quite a week. Enough of that. <laughs> um, I finished the sweater that I showed you guys, or that I was telling you guys about, uh, that was made out of the burgundy velour, velour, velvet velour, uh, whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> um, I left it at home, so I'll have to do another video clip uh, later. God like blind, being blinded by the sun and I'm, never mind <laughs> anyway and I made another sweater that was um, Angela from my precious yarneries pattern it was her hooded sweater I made another one of those uh, and I'm actually putting pockets on it <laughs> god I hate putting ugh, I hate putting pockets on things um but I've been hearing a lot of customers saying, oh, I love these sweaters, but there's no pockets. Yay. My sister will be happy. She, she's always, for years, she's been complaining to me that I don't put pockets in anything. Because they're a pain in the neck. They, they're just a pain in the neck. So, anyway. I'm working on a cocoon shrug. I really hate making cocoon shrugs because they never work out for me. But Chris, uh, yeah, Crystal from um, Bega Day just came out with one, and I'm gonna try it. I'm, I've already started it, um, but I'm not entirely sure that I have enough yarn for it. done and what else I don't think I have anything else on the go I want to make some more sweaters for the shop um, what else I don't know I can't think of anything so I'm gonna go uh, oh we've got the haunted house going at the shop let me tell you. Oh my good lord. What a cluster that is. But it looks really good. Um, but it's, you know, 
I Bailey didn't like it very much yesterday. It was like too noisy and whatever, but so I'm gonna keep her home on the days that I have that they have it going. <clears throat> it's only another couple of days. So, um, but yeah. So, anyways, if I have any, I'll I'll show you what the haunted house looks like when I get to work. Hi, Yarnaby. Yarna bees. <laughs> There's more than one of you. <laughs> God, I didn't realize how bad my hair looked today. Look at this. Look at these gray hairs. Like, God. I'm going to have to do something. Put a hat on or something. I, don't <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> anyway. Finished my monster. Put the little things on and gave them arms and all that kind of stuff. So. There he is. I don't know. He is what he is. So the... Oh, the sweater that I did. God, this is going to drive me nuts. Holy cow. Pull out the gray hair. <laughs> um, okay, so... The sweater I did that is Angela for my Precious Nernery's pattern. Let's see if I can... Hang on. Let me turn you guys around. Okay, so here it is. So the hood I put fur on. So that's what it looks like. So I'm going to be putting pockets on it, yay, but anyway, God, my hair is just atrocious today, oh my God, I can't handle it. Um, oh, so the shrug that I'm doing, that was, that is Crystal from Begaday, is here, so got it pretty wide I think it's like 50 inches or something it's like a 2 to 3x or whatever so I'm using the, the um, Colorama Halo in the purple so um, I've only got two of the donuts so I don't know, we'll have to see. I don't know what they've got at Walmart. If it's the same colorway or what, but yeah. And guys, I tell you this haunted house, it's only, today's the second day this haunted house is going on. I got a headache just listening to it and all the stuff. Kids screaming and all this kind of stuff. It hasn't started yet, but they're showing one little guy um, that comes around to the market all the time, and it's just the, all the noise. I'm gonna have to take something for my head. <sighs> okay, Sandy. Hi, Erin Bees. Um, sorry, the video cut off there. Um, the managers at the market came in and gave me the paperwork that I've been waiting for so and then right after that I ended up getting really sick and going home and uh, I've been sick ever since <clears throat> it's like two days later um, I don't know if it was a 24-hour flu or if I got food poisoning but it's been a really rough couple of days. I'm still not better. I'm trying to get some watermelon in my system or something. You know, <clears throat> I've been, I've been really sick. <laughs> so my whole body hurts from head to toe. <clears throat> I've been throwing up. I'm, it's coming out the other end a lot. Um, I've lost 10 pounds overnight, just 
Boom. I couldn't believe it. So, yeah, I'm trying to get myself better. But it hit fast. That's why it makes me think that I had food poisoning. So, I don't know. From Tim Hortons, of all places. Pissed me off. But, anyway. So, um, yeah, I haven't been able to crochet or anything for two days. I'm just, ugh, I, I've been in bed the whole time. It really sucks. <clears throat> so, I don't have, like, cold symptoms. Um, I had the chills, but other than that, I had all the other stuff, like, I was throwing up and, and the other. And uh, I was weak as a kitten. So, yeah. Um, I'm just catching up on videos now. And I'm trying to make a pickle. <laughs> Tried to make one last night and it was a bit of a disaster. I just, I just couldn't focus. So, um, yeah, so anyway, I don't think I have anything else to show you guys. Um, I'll try and do another video soon when I'm feeling better. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. I guess I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Love you. Mm -hmm.